Yo. 145 Mitchell. mil of them things. Million what? This nigga Chase asked me what was happening on Friday. Who? Chase. What's happening on Friday? He said, what's, what's, what's somebody, Marquis was like, if I don't get no pics Friday, I'm going to smack y'all niggas. He said, what's Friday? Some, some niggas just, some, you know, I got some friends that just be so... Oblivious they're not to, here. They're not to here. things that you just yeah, they're not here. Very they're important just, things that you got going on, and they just like what's what's going on that day? Nothing. Podcast it's, people, what's up, man? It's my fucking me and me and me and me and you and, and you and you. You're gonna love me, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, I think because this episode is late, I'm gonna put the YouTube video out early. We don't care. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about changing the schedule though. I was thinking about uh, just putting the YouTube video out the same day as the audio. Whoa! Was that? Does that? Is that? That is it, amazing. Does that make a bad difference or a that good makes difference? an amazing difference? I I'm think thinking, you should do that. I think we just knock it all out. I think you should do that. But then, like niggas on Wednesday, gonna be like, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do for I the rest of the week? I think you should give um, the Patreon listeners the video early. They're not a bad idea. Okay, so the the, the video yeah, will the be video. on Patreon on Monday. Yeah. And the, the public get it on Tuesday? I like that. I've been That's trying cool. to get the audio to the Patreon as early as I can. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Lionel don't hey, got a job now. So I am we got jobless. We got plenty of time pop to Pop the champagne. Shop, yeah. Pop the champagne. Congratulations. If you're, thank you. This is your actual free week. If you're watching this. I got on some yeah, Riker shorts. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's that's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and I got on here for it. I know niggas gonna be like, if you don't spit that shit up. Alright, uh, I'm gonna just shoot his gun for a little bit because my breath was stinking for sure. But yeah, this is we recording right now on Monday at eleven fifty six AM, which is a yes. time we could never record because niggas got jobs. Niggas have jobs. Had had H A Capital D. Yeah, Capital D. That's what I give them. Capital, capital D. Capital the, the the young and jobless man, come on, just yeah. out here living life. And I'm barely working. We just <laughs> this shit, we just figured this shit out, man. I don't um, know, man. Yeah. Somebody, oh, uh, who was that? Uh, Professor Odie was like, "You doing full time content now?" I'm like, "Yeah, if it's OnlyFans." Oh, I wish I was, brother. If you get a full time OnlyFans contract, would you take it? Solo. No, the niggas that be streaming and shit, they do that. That's their whole job, huh? They gotta be a streaming ass nigga. They hold for all all of them until they get paid. Like Kasha and them, they gotta keep that character up. Like they gotta be that person. It depends though, because Kasha and them is like young. So I'm I'm trying to imagine them at like thirty. They're not gonna want to do that. Like what's gonna transition between when you thirty and it's they like better, they better be uh <laughs> they better be handling their money correctly so that way they could just. Ride off into the sunset, cause shit don't last forever, man. Like niggas fumble sound bigger bags, negative, but that's true. Shit don't last, especially when it's something that's like that. Yeah, where it could it could happen in the drop of a dime, you could just not be you. Yeah, it could be somebody else, or it could just be a whole other form of media. You could just get booted to the side. Niggas was talking about the podcast boom. I forgot what I was listening to. That shit was like, like the gold mine. Yeah, it was am I like, too dark in this thing? Do I look real niggery? Black as fuck, nigga. I don't know. I can't tell. Black as shit. I'm over nigga. here looking at the screen like nigger man. Look at shit. That's crazy for my last nigger game, boy. For my last game, brother. Chucking job. <laughs> Chucking job. Were you talking about the uh, podcast boom? Yeah, there was like a, a podcast boom in uh, what 2020, 2019. Yeah. Yep. Where they was just giving away deals though, like when the deals was hitting, like with yes. Spotify and whoever the fuck they was just giving niggas pause but it was like think about all the podcasts y'all that that used to be out that aren't out anymore that's a great conversation we just saw one who was it see the thing is broke up oh yeah that's right yeah. those girls yeah but, mandy but and I mean, uh what's her name bridget right bridget kelly yeah they broke up um but mandy is it mandy what are we talking about or the yeah one? mandy is the one that and it's not wheezy okay mandy yeah mandy has with the short hair she has Plenty podcasts though to kind of you know she's been on a few podcasts had her own, but I feel like even yet and still her them breaking up didn't really do much to her. She was just kind of totally like it wasn't like her end all be all. Nah, 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 nah. She just was like, all right, I guess that's a stream of income. I don't, I can't look forward to. And it probably, it honestly probably wasn't a, a crazy stream of income for her. No, I don't think so because podcasts don't generate in general. 
Podcasts don't generate a lot of money. And no. she's touring with horrible decisions. Right. So it's right. like you were really like she gonna do two like tour show to show type shit. Remember when uh Michelle Obama had that um Michelle, pod- yeah. Michelle. Yeah, Michelle Obama. Michelle had. Obama. Mm-hmm. She had that podcast uh with Spotify and they gave her a bag for it. And nothing had came and with she that. She never even dropped an episode. Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah, some people just some people just got it like that, bro. But I mean, I that's just what had um, that's the podcast thing that I'm talking about. Like, it's like yeah. you could have anybody could have probably Beyonce could have been something. like, all right, yeah, I'll do a podcast, I'm sure. But like we said before, the thing about so look how professional we talking. You heard yeah. this? The, th- <laughs> the thing about this is Monday morning. Us, yeah, guys. it is. The this thing is about the podcasts and like we said before about giving them to celebrities is that. Nobody cares. Like sometimes people don't want to hear what celebrities have to say. You think so? Yeah, nobody really hear like what. Do you think potting isn't for celebrities? I don't think podcasting is for celebrities. I think that. Ooh. I think that is for. Who the fuck do you people. think you are? I don't think so. I think it's for people to get a perspective of like the quote normal person, and then if they get popular, then it's like okay, cool. We watched you grow because I feel like podcasting people like to watch you your journey. Yeah, because they get so much of us. So it's like if Lil Wayne made a podcast, it would be kind of random, but it'd be like okay, like I would probably like. I don't even think it would be random at at this point. Yeah, now, yeah, with all of the people that are just starting podcasts, and it's just like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, remember when um they was talking about uh, who was that? Dave Chappelle and yeah, all of the niggas that was a part of the the um Def comedy or no, what is it called? It's called Night Train. Midnight Marauders. Have um, you ever heard of it? Midnight Marauders is an album. Well, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. It's I really called. Don't. It's no. It's Dave Chappelle. Um, who's the rapping? White niggas? Cut, oh. No, the rapping niggas. That the was roots. In, that was in. Chocolate um, Quest. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think. Is it Talib Kweli? Not in. Not in. Uh, Chocolate Quest. Who? Q-tip? Who the fuck? Yes. Yeah, is 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 Dave Chappelle's fucking podcast? Ali Shaheed Muhammad. Think about think about that. Dave Chappelle has a podcast, and niggas don't even. He got I, it now. I don't, like it's yes, out. Yes, oh. bro. And they come out with episodes, and it's like Scarface. It's a got whole a thing, one. bro. It's called the Midnight Miracle. Sorry, it's Dave Chappelle, Yasin Bey, and Talib Kweli. Definitely Black Star. Think, think about that. Yeah, Black Star. Think about all three of them niggas. Yeah, big names. Yeah. You would think that they would bring a, a lot of people, but I don't hear nobody. Motherfuckers was mad about to, at Talib Kweli though. Because he, he was harassing uh, he, a John, he a did girl. A thing, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. What, what he was? What he do to harass her? <laughs> I forgot. I, I'm not laughing at that because I don't even know yes, the situation. He's laughing but he at didn't it. do nothing like. What he do to harass her? I'm trying to think. He was just like bullying her on the internet. That's a little crazy. But I don't know the details. So I won't get into that. Okay. Yeah. I don't but know the details either. Speaking of celebrities fucking up now, sometimes when you on a good roll with shit, you just gotta let the roll roll. This nigga, sir, <laughs> the singer, what sir. He, yeah. What did he do? Tweeted. About the Casanet, uh, about the girl that went on stage. You seen that whole shit? Yeah. He was like, "Yeah, Casanet uh, <laughs> put put yeah. somebody on this podcast and got a got him a new bitch in twenty minutes or something like yeah, that." Yeah, yes. And I Scotty B, you quote tweeted and was like, "No." He apologizes then for saying "bitch." That's not that's not what you were supposed to apologize for, brother. What is he supposed to apologize for? I think that it was more like the entire thing. the entire. I don't think the word "bitch" is what offended everybody. It was more like. Why why are you why are you kind of chiming in on this red pill, blue pill type of beat? Like you know how people oh, look yeah, at Sir as yeah, like he's an R and B singer, the yeah, chicks love him. It's like for, yeah, you fucked up. This nigga put out a formal apology. Yeah. On Twitter. I don't think I would ever apologize on Twitter. Not for that. I'm not apologizing for nothing on Twitter. I mean at this point you just you double down, right? Yeah. Fuck it. You gotta double down. I'm not apologizing on Twitter. Cause there's nothing genuine about apologizing on Twitter. Like and let, I mean, my publicist can write it or something like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get agent to write it, an apology letter. To yeah, I'm not, nobody's. I'm not. I'm not writing an apology letter. You got to get somebody else to do but it. But do you make a video because then do that's you gonna even live apologize? Around. No, yeah. no. Well, well, for sure, he should have just deleted the tweet because no, no matter what you do, if you apologize, which you know, I feel like he thought was the right thing to do, you still gonna get smacked, and it was, you apologize for the wrong reason, so it don't matter. I like sir. Yeah. Damn. So are people going to stop listening to? Is he no, I'm not even close. That's crazy. I ain't, right? li- I ain't stopped listening to Daniel Caesar, so it is what it is. I ain't stopped listening to Daniel Caesar. <laughs> he got to do some egregious shit to, for me to stop listening to Daniel Caesar. What did he say? He was he was, he was like, supporting Yes Jules. Yeah, he was supporting, but supporting a white woman 
against, it's crazy. against all blacks is some funny <laughs> shit. Because there's some things that you just literally, oh, no. I pulled this out by accident. That's what she said. Yeah, um, sure. Hello. Uh, no, this fine. But oh, yeah. Uh, supporting a white woman amongst a group of black. Don't do that again. Stop. Stop. You doing that dance from TikTok? What? You know that shit? Uh-uh. Where they be doing a the little step and they be like, No, oh yeah, no, I ain't you're, seen yeah, that. Yeah, you a real, you a real dancing ass. I need nigga. to get, I need to get into it. <laughs> yeah, but no, um, but yeah, he was supporting a lot of. Uh, a lot of support Yes Jules Probably cause her ass was fat Cause he thought he was gonna get some ass You think he got some buns? Um If the right woman Was to do something And I gotta save her <laughs> Like who? Who's the right woman That gotta do some foul shit? Who, who Who corny as shit But like they pretty I was like, about to draw um, uh, Stacey Dash Yeah Ain't she corny as shit I support Stacey like Dash though You do? I would you you know how bad of a person she is, right? Is she a bad person? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm she, sorry. Said, she said some wild shit. All I know is what she looked like. Right. Well, I'm just saying, like, if if you're pretty and you say some wild shit. Yeah, but you get, you get. Like, you, if you serve baby mom, I guess you got to, like, you got to eat deal with it. Too. Yeah. It's like, or if you hit shorty. Yeah. But ain't, but I don't, it's not enough to leave nobody, though. Like, like do, do my shorty got to, like, take it if I. Do some cancelable shit. Yes, if they rocking. Really? If that's if, if you my chick and I get canceled for some shit we that's canceled. like for some <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're canceled together. Is no you can't be like I don't know this nigga unless I do some egregious shit like some shit that's unspeakable. But like if I yeah. do some shit where I just said I had a I, I, my tone was off where I offended like fat people. Yeah, and or like gay people, you would have to like be like he ain't mean it type shit, yeah, yeah, which I wouldn't do. A know, lot of people was kind of mad at uh, what SZA when she was like thanking Lizzo. <laughs> Thank Lizzo for what? <laughs> for like being in her life, because like apparently her and Lizzo go all the way back, and I didn't even know that was a thing. But okay. when she won her award, she thanked Lizzo, and everybody was like, what "The <sighs> fuck." That's like that's kind of like you know what I was thinking about the other day. I didn't think Lizzo really did anything crazy. Stop being on the Lizzo defense team. <laughs> you one of the niggas that don't got to say nothing. <laughs> I know. I, yo, what's his name? Floyd Mayweather just came out and started talking about Diddy. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> said, "Ain't nobody even asking this question." What did he say about? Oh, uh, he was like, uh, he was he was like, I I don't know the young lady, but you know, if that was my daughter. Then I would just have to. It's just one of them things where it's it's that. Now, no, it's not one of them things. Is that taking taking the person out of the situation completely to dissect it? His daughter definitely was dealing with NBA young boy. NBA young boy. Yeah. And there was a situation where he was trying to tell his daughter like, get up out of that. Yo, you drawing like cool, cool the fuck out. He didn't say that. Who? He didn't say you was around cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said living. that. Okay. I heard him say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I he said, you. you know what I'm saying? You drawn. Get the fuck up out of there. Right. What do you do? You can't say, if you can't, your daughter's grown. I like, cut her off, though. You would just cut her off? If my kids grow up and they do some stupid, stupid ass shit, I feel like I'm going to give them a chance or two, but I feel like I'm going to cut them off. Like, like if, I, if I got a son and he keep going to jail, I'm paying bail one time. Nah, you get twice. I'm not, I'm not doing twice. You I'm not doing two, twice because jail. Because because first that's, off, that's, that's your baby, bro. Fuck that. That's not like, my baby no more. You watched them grow no. up into whatever. Nah. They might have had one fucked up situation, nah. one or two. Nah, they just fuck up sometimes. You see, you gotta assess the situation. If it's some shit that I'm telling, if, if it's some shit you doing in the streets and you just fucking up and you don't need to be doing it. Why are you selling drugs, son? That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> you doing, and if I bail you out, it's like, bro, that's some real life shit. Now you didn't lost your job. Yeah, you, know saying? you can get locked up for two days and lose your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I like, mean, bro, what yeah, type of time is you? Here. I'm no, saying I all this, it. but I'm gonna bail my son out forty times. Yeah, but, I'm, um, gonna, I'm gonna bail my <laughs> child out twice. Twice, get a good two, two. Yeah, like, I mean, if it was a third strike, he going period. They going period. Strikes, brother, what are you doing? Yeah, some niggas do be in that in that realm though. Like a lot of interviews I've been watching, niggas like I ain't really had to get in the street. Like casting over two times. Oh really? He, didn't he said I had a great you. family. My mom's a teacher. Yeah, my dad to this. Like shit, just be like you know influence. Yeah, that's crazy. The kids is the kids be influenced, bro. Wow. We old now. We gotta give the kid. Remember I told you I'm passing the game yesterday. That was crazy. <laughs> I was just looking at my phone. Yeah, like, I'm passing yeah, the game yeah. down to the young ones, y'all. Um, 
I'm gonna make my transition. This is my you don't even got no apprentices. That's a good point. Who are you passing it to? This is it's a general pass. There's no. You know how you help Mary? Yeah. No. <laughs> there's, there's nobody. You know, below. You know how you help like, Mary? You just. We don't got no young boys. We definitely don't. I don't got no young boys. I don't got no young boys. Do we need to niggas. be mentors, the niggas? Do we have to? We should. We thirty. I don't even know what community service look like. You the <laughs> one though. You the one. Yeah, I do. You. I found a nigga. I found an old head that uh that I uh wanted to make my mentor recently. He a old uh he's oh, in my he in my part of the chapter. He in my fraternity, yeah. But he oh, like right. a uh, if y'all listen to this, that's pretty. It's gonna be a pretty interesting conversation. But he's an older guy, um, like a preacher, like a former preacher. Oh, he do a lot of. Preacher? He likes retired like retire? from preaching like a couple years ago to do like social justice work. That's hard. But he cool though. He a cool ass old head. Like oh, I'm just like hard. this is the type of this type of person you need to be connect, networking with as I'm my age. Like somebody that's like 55, 60. Yeah. That still got it going on, but it's like yo, I need some advice from you about certain things because the mentorship is important. But niggas never know how to find a mentee or a mentorship, a mentor. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And everybody be like, how about your dad? It's like, well, you know, I want somebody that's like not important. You know what I'm saying? There are some people for certain things. That's yeah. like if I if if uh, I want advice to play football, but my dad is a basketball player, I can't yeah. go to him. He's still going to give you advice. I need though. advice you know for dad's football. Give a fuck. Huh? He's still going to give you advice. In basketball? All that. Nah, a- he's going to be like, bro, you, you're not supposed to run like that. Like, how does he know he's a basketball player? So yeah, like yeah, yeah, while he's around to help with whatever, yeah. I still might need help. A specific from a, person. Yeah, I might need help in a specific area. Yeah. So an area of expertise. Yeah, he might be good. Uh now ex preacher? Yeah. That's hard. I don't Let me know. Tell how you how the church system works. I don't want to know how the church he's system works. He's making money. Uh, yeah, I for sure. That, I don't hey. I ain't gonna lie. If I was a preacher, I'm I kind of in on that. If I was a preacher, I have an Audi, a BMW. They got it, bro. I'm stealing from the church. They do. Oh, no, I'm saying if I'm a preacher, I'm stealing from the church. They got cash app now. Absolutely. Yeah, all of that shit. I'm gonna be it, on this. It, it ain't no, I forgot my twenty dollars at home. <laughs> it ain't no, I forgot my ties at home. They gonna be like, all right, it's cool. It's you cool. Put it on your credit card. Like, we got square. We got square. And I'm swipe a, your card. I'm gonna get the cars where. It don't look like I'm drawn. Like I'm not gonna get a fucking Mazi. Yes, you are drawn. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna just get a BMW. They are gonna be like, how past that's, that's a drawn How past the chain? Like get a drawn. Be like, you gotta get a Nissan. And then and then I'm gonna preach to niggas. It's by the grace of God that I, I'm allowed. No, that I'm you know blessed. You, you know what you gotta do. You gotta get one of the new Kias. Oh, the, <laughs> the fly drones. They gonna they think still, shit about they that. Still, yeah, yeah, they yeah. not gonna be like, yeah, he taking our money. They gonna be like, oh, all right, he a normal. And nigga. every week I'm gonna make niggas feel bad when they ain't tipping. Uh, not tipping when they uh, tithing. <laughs> Basically, <tipping. laughs> when they when they ain't tithing, I'll be like, the building still be the, the ceiling <laughs> falling in the. Building. I'll be like, God gave His all. Yeah, for you to come in here and get five dollars Bibles and shit, but you pulling shit. up in a brand new Kia. Yeah, Kia Sorento. Yo, my old, my old, my old preacher. Pastor Reverend Lovett from South Philly. That's all full right. name. That's a good name. This nigga got like a Cadillac one one year, and it was uh it was like the biggest deal in the church. Like he pulled up one day. What's the eighteen fifty seven? He pulled up one day with this Cadillac, and everybody was just like, it was like the whole thing. Like it was the. You see, you see Reverend Lovett's you car. See his, you see, you see Reverend Lovett's car. I'm just like, yeah, I guess. Like, meanwhile, my parents, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you feel me? Are, are we eating? What's yeah. happening here? How is this nigga affording Cadillac? My church did used to have dinners, though. Oh, all right. Used to have, that's like, solid. niggas used to go downstairs. It used to be baked macaroni. My, oh, my nana solid. used to cook. It used to be fried yeah, chicken. That's solid. That don't make up for the thousands that they stole from us. Absolutely. Vacation Bible school. Do you, you ever been to vacation Bible school? I've been to one vacation Bible school. All the girls that went to, went to vacation Bible school and was real churchy, they super slutty now. Uh, yeah. like, like they like the mega sluts. <laughs> uh, mega sluts is crazy, but okay. I love okay. them. I love them. They've been the constrained for so long. Vacation Bible school. Yeah, they've been restrained for so long. Yeah, but they still got God first in their bio all the time. Yeah, all the they time. still got the God first with the little cross emoji in their bio. It's still that, but at the end of the day, they're the ones that are really and they still might turn got, some shit up. They still might got God first in their life. They just slutty right after. They they might. They might. They might. Listen, I got God. I did some foul things in life. I still be talking about God. 
You feel B- me? Getting a BBL and instead of giving back to your church is crazy. <laughs> that money was supposed to go to your church. Shout but out you, to BBL Church. You got a BBL instead. That's nuts. How much you, you seen that shit with me, boy? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Her mom, her, but they were saying that her mom's BWI, like the BMI, BMI, what is like that? Like the blood, blood, body mass, body index. mass. Yeah, they were saying that they told her it was one way, but she, she, they still did the procedure. I, I think that if you're B, B, what is it? BMI? Mm-hmm. I think if it's at a certain rate where you're not supposed to get a surgery done, you just shouldn't. They shouldn't allow it. I'm about to say they should ban it. They should be like, all right, well, you can't do it until you're at this certain weight. Let like, me give you, sorry, uh, real quick, because people don't know me. Some people don't know me, Oh, Okay, me is a Philly uh, comedian, but like, she really not a comedian. She just be big and she, just, and she popular. Yeah, she she, she just, got this hats called what? Ain't nothing. Yeah, it's like ain't nothing. That's like her brand. She really popular though. Outside of Philly, right? Maybe that's what I'm trying to explain it. But she, I, she, I would like to think that she's an influencer. Yeah, more she's than an influencer. Anything, yeah. More than, once you look her up, they'll know who she is. Yeah, me, like, Meatball or De- Deja, right? Deja, Girl, yeah. Deja or something like that. We but, call um, her yes, Meat, though. Yeah, she recently, um, she had some surgery shit where her, where her mom she had took her surgery mom, with, said. like, one of these popular... Doctors. Um, yeah, doctors that be doing, like, fat surgeries and shit. In Brooklyn. Oh, it was in Brooklyn? It was in Brooklyn, but then they said... She said, like, they canceled it and was like, yeah, the doctor's not in, so we're going to do it in New Jersey. <laughs> so she saw the jersey. Bro, what, I wouldn't bro? get no body fat transplant in New Jersey. No. Yeah. No, don't. First of all, if I'm supposed to be here and y'all tell me, like, no, nah, we just going to do it in another. It's not happening. No, nah, I'm nah, not we're going. Good. No, nah, I'll just reschedule. That's God telling me. Yeah. I don't need this. Yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a tattoo and it, it blew Is out. It? It's bad. Did I see it? They didn't do a good job. Let me see it. What the fuck? Yeah, it's supposed to be purple. What did it? It ain't pill yet, did it? Yeah, but bro, it's not. Oh that's, god, that's not supposed to look like that, bro. No, they fuck. They fuck me up. My they fuck my shorty up too. Why you Wait, ain't our, go, both our shits is like this. Why you ain't go to my mans? Who? I'm just playing. I'm gonna make. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like who? I went to these white people. But uh, the good thing about that is that could just be covered. Yeah, yeah. but we we probably we probably gonna get it redone. Just like a bigger one, maybe. Yeah, just cover that it shit up. Crazy. But yeah, I'd walk back in that tattoo point and smack the shit out this nigga. Like how how do you fuck up something like that though? Like that's serious. Cause nigga ain't taking it serious. You know how some shit be too easy. You like, I right, hurry up, y'all. Let me get let me get these. Let me get these couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Nigga was like, vip, vip, vip. yeah. It was yeah, like, all right, have a great day. Quick. Shirty gave me her card and it was like written. Yeah, no. Yeah, like handwritten. I like, got this plant done in somebody's house down if on. Um, in West it Philly, came nice. it was good. Yeah, but it was a house <laughs> in yeah. the trenches. Yeah, I walked into the yeah. trenches. I walked into a house and I walked in, and the whole living room and everything was two tattoo beds. You know, it was a kitchen. Was it was a cleaner? Like, did it at least feel clean? Yeah, you could I, walk I, into a house situation and be like, "All right, this feel clean." Like, I want you know, it felt like you know you in the trenches. So, so everything was clean. It was like a West Philly house, like yeah. But it was nice though, like it, it was very professional. Um, I just sat down. Nobody said too much to me. It was just, you, you know, getting done, bro. Yeah, it was oh, like, what right. you want? I showed her a picture. She was like, okay, you can lay down. I was like, uh, all right, lay down. It was crazy. no love. What? It was no love on the tat. <laughs> it was just, yeah, that's crazy. But sometimes what you need, I got this. Uh, Haas did this one in the basement. This bird. Yeah. So it depends, but when I go to tattoo artists, I go. I don't try to tell Like I'm not gonna tell niggas To give me a, a portrait of somebody I'm gonna do what I know That you can do Yeah if, I'm gonna To your best ability Exactly Show me what you've done before Show me what you got Yeah What have you done before Show me your history What have yeah. you done And then I'll figure out Alright cool You mean You gotta have an array of like What you Portfolio. want Portfolio Yeah And then you'd be like Alright well I know that They not about to be doing No fucking portrait yeah, if they only did like Minnie Mouse pictures and shit like that, uh-huh. like, these niggas is not. You ever see a uh, a portrait of somebody and they look like they look R word? They look messed up in the face. Yeah, yes, like the face elongated and with yeah, the, the teeth yeah, fucked the up. Yeah, the eyes all to the side. <laughs> but the thing is, like, it'll be like they like dead little sister, so you can't even be like. Yeah, and I know they don't look like this in real life. You gotta be like. Yeah, they don't look like this. That's a good tattoo. And the nigga show you like, oh, oh I really see it in her eyes now. Yeah, we see it in her eyes. Oh, I really spread see, apart it. Eyes. see it in her chin. It look that does look like her. <laughs> that looks like little Cassie. Oh, some people do got well, I said eyes. 
They do. Yeah. That's an interesting thing to have. That's so weird. You got you ever met somebody that got an opposite of wide set eyes? Inside eyes? Motherfuckers <laughs> just like really close. He just so close. Yo, people with people with little tiny nostrils. I be trying to figure out like how the fuck do you breathe? Like you know the ones that be real close to the face? And the, and and the nose kind of go <laughs> Bro it's yeah. like It's like a, a, a Aztec uh, a, a Statue Yes Like the joint where the nose Press flat And yes, it's like bro. It's like a vacuum cleaner Yes like, A how vacuum the fuck is cleaner is crazy How y'all breathing The fuck bro <laughs> It's got vacuum Then you meet niggas On the opposite end Just Hella nostril All nostril All nostril I, I remember we was growing up um, And my sister had this one friend um, and my dad, natural. my dad used to call her a dog. This was before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this, this is, but I mean, this was, but obviously this before was the before, cancer yeah, this, yeah. this was before it was like bad, bad. So like my dad used to be like, yo, get your friend that look like a dog. <laughs> That's insane. You, that, you and your mom, you, your dad and your mom got two insults that last the test of time now. What my mom say? Homely. Oh, they said the girl was homely? Yes. Yeah. And uh, if fucking um, a dog get that, it was a girl. Yeah. Oh she, no! Come yeah, on. She, he used to call her a pit bull. <laughs> some people do look like animals, though, man. Bro, I mean, like some people look like animals. When he said it, we laughed. We didn't laugh for no reason. Yeah. We laughed because it was true. No bullshit. It was a monkey being born on the. <laughs> oh yes, I seen that. I was, oh y'all, I'm not racist. I'm black. There was a monkey being born on Twitter, and I yes. said. Apes and shit be looking a little bit too Low much like niggas. I know a nigga that look like this a little bit. I know a nigga that look like this motherfucker. I know a nigga that look like this motherfucker. He could grow up to look like, you mean? <laughs> but it's it, uh, but it, it's only fucked up because white people nigga. made it a racist thing. But it was did. they? But was they right? Were they correct? And the, outside Here, of racism, here's the, here's the thing. Outside of racism, we do have the same anatomy. We do. We do have the same anatomy as 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 monkeys and shit. Right. They got opposable thumbs. We got we're like the closest genetic to them. Right. So with that being said, I don't know, man. What about why white people do don't you like think monkeys? we grew from monkeys? <laughs> oh, you know it's funny. I was just watching Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast today. Yeah, he was talking about all this nerdy shit. Um, I do think we derive from. I wish I was high during this conversation. I do think we derive from them animals, though. I think we. I think somebody said monkeys yeah, just uh, don't want to pay taxes. Literally. So that's why they don't talk? I mean, some of them niggas really do be, yeah. they smart. Like, they, smart. Them, they, they are smart animals. Nigga. Yeah. I don't know what to do. But I feel like humans, like, we think we think we so superior, like, on this earth. Like, yo, we the humans. Like, we run shit. We kill mm-hmm. shit. We do this, that, and the third. The whole time, man, like, all these other species, universe, we like some fucking weirdos that just kind of popped up. Are you, so do you think that we are the most recent yeah Organize it Yeah I think yeah. so too Hell like, yeah It's probably It's probably other Johns out there Yeah Cause Gotta they didn't be. need us They did, Animals didn't need us to eat Gotta be Like we created shit like dogs Why the fuck we got dogs Oh we created dogs Yeah dogs are not natural Like that's not no Dogs come from wolves Like it's not a They start breeding shit Especially not the little dogs that <laughs> that can't breathe. Them, yeah, them, them <laughs> fucking bulldogs that y'all yeah. be breeding. Please stop. Please stop doing can that. Can we shit. stop? Can like it's a I get it. It's a million dollar business for y'all. Like it, y'all, it's a lot of people making money off them dogs. Cool, right? What are we doing here? I don't know. What are we doing here? It depends. Them, on them niggas, little American bullies them, with yeah. their arms is like this. Like that shit. That shit look like it hurt. It depends on how much they sell them for, though, cuz. Couple stacks. If I hop in the dog game and I made three racks on a, for some racks. on a dog, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm all niggas my, can't breathe. They fucking barking all off and just. Yeah. Y'all niggas think that shit is cute. Some people be crossbreeding the most random ass dogs, though. Like, yeah. And like, that shit is not. Like, why okay. is a chihuahua I'm meeting with a fucking king corso? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Chihuahua. Uh, I'm just mad I didn't think of one. A king wawa. King Wawa. Actually, it's a Kanye Corso. All right. That's what TikTok told me. Oh, really? He told me, stop saying Kane. Say Kanye. I said, I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to say. Fuck that. Because I'm not saying say whatever that. whatever you want, bro. Niggas don't got to work. <laughs> don't got to what? Work. Fuck a job. Fuck it. How you feel, man? I feel good. I feel good. How was it? Let's talk about your last day. My last day of work? First day out? First day out. This is my first day out. My last, my last day of work... 
Um, you were sick. Yeah, I was sick at work. But the thing is, like, I had to get a bonus. So they was like, nigga. Stay. Come in the last week. Because I wasn't even supposed to be working last week. They right. was like, come in the last week. Whoop de whoop. I got a cold at the beginning of the week. And my manager was like, you got to work all four days. Yeah. Like, you couldn't just, I couldn't just call out. Which is slavery. It's very much slavery. And I, and I was, I had a cold and everything and I worked. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. The slave in me worked and thought that yes. that was normal. Yeah. The nigger in me really thought that it was normal for them to be like, it is so for yeah, us. We're it's, going it's, it's to need you to whoop de whoop. And, and, and I'm over here just doing it. Whatever they was asking me to do, I'm just doing fucking up the office, getting everybody the fuck four sick. Four days, I'm just getting everybody sick. He told me for it, don't call out, whatever, whoop de whoop. And I'm just like, all right, cool. Yeah. That's that's insane. Did you when you left? Did you give your manager a hug? No, I took a shit on his desk. You should have. I should have. Mm-hmm. I, I did fart in his area. <laughs> <laughs> I did fart at, in his desk. I did. I took a nice little fart over there. That's what's up, man. I, just I know farted. they said. Yeah, they probably are. Yeah, it's been nine years. Nine years, bro. You are a different nigga, bro. I worked me. for that company for nine years. What's the longest you ever worked for a company? At I least, worked for Hertz for about it. three. Really? 2017 to 2020, yep. Okay. That's it. That's all I can give. Remember they told you to get that shit back? Yeah, where's that shit at right now? It's back in the... No, it's in West Philly, probably. If they ain't throw it away, it's in... I was back in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was on that front porch. I left everything there, bro. Yeah. I wish I would have took some things, but here's what it is. When I moved, I just kind of like, just was like, fuck it. Like, uh, I cleaned out the big shit. I put everything on the curb, but like all that miscellaneous shit I put in trash bags and like, you know. Yeah. Did we ever um do a recap on Jonesing? We did not. Wow. When was Jones? Wow. That was not last Friday. It was the Friday before last. We didn't record Friday. We so didn't no, we did. We record Friday. So. We had our our speed dating event, yeah. Jonesin. Yeah. Um. Shout out Very to everybody good. that pulled up to the uh to the event. Yes. And if you found love, or if you got some numbers, some a, c- a couple people went on a date. My man's went on a date. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh, where, Two where of shit? Them. My man Drewski went on a date. Yeah, that was beautiful. That, so that was a good joint. I'm like, all right, bet we we healing. And that's just what we know of. Right. Yeah, that's like people we know, but like, uh, we uh Jonesin was our speed dating event. Like Lionel said, it was good. Great mixture of people. Um, and I feel like looks wise, we did pretty good on yeah. the scale. Like we didn't give yeah. air, we didn't throw no ug- no uggos out to the women or the men. Right. Like I I really it. wasn't like Yeah, no, it was like pretty it, good. That, it wasn't that. You know what I mean? It was I felt like everybody came dressed appropriately. Dressed nice. Yep. Niggas was like, you know, not looking all fucking bummy and wearing like Under Armour. Yeah, like niggas just wasn't looking whatever. They looked Nice, yeah, they presentable. tried. I mean, it was a grown and sexy event. We had Spillage. Shout out to Spillage. Shout out to they Spillet. came through. Yeah. Chris Cavallari was in the building. Cavallari. Yep. Whatever, how, yep. Chris Cavallari was there. Yep. She was she was rocking. So. Make sure I look at the episode we did with Spillers on YouTube now as well. Yeah, so so go ahead, check that out. Um, that was fun. No, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. We said we were going to try to. Do another little situation where it's like singles involved because we we did yeah we like that yeah so make sure y'all stay tuned to that type of stuff I felt yeah. like it was a lot of beautiful women in the building it was actually a woman in there that I like lightly was talking to on the internet and we exchanged maybe one word no because I was I wasn't participating in the dating like she was now what do you thing. do in that situation where you see because I was out and I seen a a lady that a, a young lady that I. Was mildly talking to. Right. Like we we might have shared a text message back and forth, and then it fell off. And I seen her out, and like I'm happy now. Right. I'm in a relationship. I'm good. I don't even talk. I didn't even look in her direction. Right. Is that what everybody does in that situation? If you see somebody that you used I to have talk a, I to, have to learn. <laughs> huh? I gotta learn. What do you mean by that? I gotta learn self control. You would t- go talk to that person. I feel like if we was in a space where we couldn't avoid each other, like eyes wise, I'd be like, "Hey, how are you?" But like, if we like, do you just kind of do a side eye? I and just, just don't walk? even look. Close I'm your like eyes. This. That's like if she's scary. over here, I'm not even looking at her. What if she's walking right towards you? You just kind of sidestep. Uh oh. 
<laughs> no, you got hit her with the fuck it with a basketball move. Excuse me. Oh yes. Yes, absolutely. Act like you dribbling the ball. <laughs> Come here. Got yeah, no. Nah. I mean, if if I see somebody out that I my like, I think um she was participating. She was participating in the speed day, and, and I wasn't. I was working, so I wasn't like because I definitely could have been on her heels the whole night. Like you know what I'm saying, like you mean, but yeah, she came here to to bob out. I was like, all right, you know, yeah. Yeah, so we know uh we know somebody who invited some old work. Very nasty. Very, very V nasty. Nasty, nasty. V nasty. Yeah, very Is nasty. Is that not crazy? That's a little crazy. I'm like, not inviting old work nowhere. Your old work to a party? Nowhere. I'm talking about someone I didn't invite her. Nigga, please. We know you did, brother. Yeah. You your Let's old talk work. about self control as a man. I yeah. feel like as a man, sometimes it's hard having self control. Um, especially you know, if you have options, and I feel, I wonder, mm-hmm. I wonder, I feel like women don't really go through that, and it bothers me that they just have so much self control when they like a An nigga. An immense amount of self control. Yeah, when they, they like are, a nigga, they just be like, "I like this nigga," and that's all the this nigga, nigga I want. Is the nigga for me, and that's it. I commend that, and I want to. I'm trying to learn that shit. But I will say this: I think it's a lot easier for women nowadays to just say. This is the nigga I'm on. I got him. Boom, we locked in. Because they do, because the bar is very, very low. We had this conversation before. What you mean? So the, because the bar is so fucking low, that yeah. when they finally get somebody that's even close that, to something that they will want. That goes a little bit above the bar. They go. I'm grabbing. I got him. Yeah. Lock them in. Yeah, fast. This is the nigga for me. Because the nigga, they've been on dates with niggas that wore shiesty masks. The yeah. whole night And you like What the fuck Or like Yeah Niggas they They first shit was like Yo slide to my crib Yeah You could be like With your chick What the fuck And she'll like And she'll come home And report Like that The niggas that tried To talk to her Or they'll be like I was out I was out at the Blase Blah today And some Some guy da, 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 And I just be like And you just was like I got a nigga and I'm like, I respect that. That's so yeah. that's so commendable. But yeah. I feel like the certain woman, like running into a woman who also has options be so funny to me because I ran into one woman in my life who was kind of a player. And at the time player. I was I was running around. And yeah. when I found out she had options and she could move around the same way I did, I felt I found myself You said, hold on. I felt myself feeling the way and then oh, I had to oh, oh. I had to be like, hold on. And she hold said up. it to me. She yeah. said, You're not used to a woman with options, huh? Like, like, of course, most of women have options, but she said, you're not really used to somebody that be doing the same shit you're doing. I said, absolutely not. Therefore, I'm about to stop, so you got to stop. Everybody stop. Mm. Everybody put a pause to this. Because mm. I, like, I don't like that. I don't like it either. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a fan. So I have to change. Oh, like, because the thing is, like, I know, I know I'm dating you, you bad, right? Yeah. That's obvious. But to know that you got game, because not every baddie got game. That's a fact. Actually, that's a fact. Actually, they don't. They don't need game. Not so it really. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. They don't not, care to not have really. game. So, to, so to be bad and actually have game is a little crazy. That's like a double whammy. Yeah, that's a little crazy. It's like, why the fuck is you? Why the fuck is you out here spitting game like this? Who yeah. the fuck you thought you was? The fuck is this? The fuck you think you is? I ain't like out that. Here spitting game and shit. As soon as you stop talking to her, she you got think another you nigga. Me? Oh, fast though, and I'm like, how you do this? Very fast. <laughs> but it's like you know, once you, once you un- unveil, you know, once you unveil that, uh, you know, here's here's the thing I'll, I'll speak about as a man. Some things I went through. Once you lose that certain, like, once a woman lose that certain oomph about you, like that certain hypeness about you that she had at one point, like yeah. she'll do anything for you type beat. Once that is gone. And you trying to fight to get that back, it's really impossible. Like, as a nigga, you got to yeah. just take accountability and know, I fucked up. That oomph and that energy is gone for me. And I, I feel like sometimes you might as well just not even try to get it back. Do you think that there's there's times where it's not even your fault? It might be something that she's dealing with in life? It used to be my fault sometimes. All right. Obviously. <laughs> like, you mean, like, niggas, niggas do dumb shit, right? Yeah. And sometimes it's not even you. Sometimes it's a clip. Yeah. Of some shit happening at a at a show where <laughs> very specific. somebody is, you know, doing something in front of your face while you're blindfolded and then they take the blindfold off and they're in the middle of doing <laughs> said act. Right. So you gotta just look at the person like, why the fuck did you just do all of that crazy right. shit? But it gets recorded 
and clipped up by our wonderful Mac. Can't pronounce his last name. You sound like one of them TikToks that say, "Put a finger down." And, yeah, and then right. It just be like, so, so <laughs> you know, there's sometimes there those things happen where you know somebody edits a a video and tries to make it look like we were having a great time, and we did have a great time at the sh- show in total. Yeah, but that sometimes it was just that one fault. spot yeah. where that happened, you know, and the. The young lady did some freaky shit, and you just like, yo. Are you getting to a point? Fuck? Are you getting to a? So sometimes that happens. <laughs> okay, like, nigga, what the you fuck? You know, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, like, sometimes that happens, and then you got to, like, be able to tell whoever, yo, listen, it ain't me. Yeah. Sometimes it, it isn't me. I'm, I'm sometimes not, niggas really do be not doing shit, and shit just be happening. It did just be happening. It did do dumb sometimes. It just be, happening. just be happening to me. You feel me? And I did get in trouble. I am in the doghouse slightly, half half foot in, half foot out. Is it a nice doghouse? Hate it. Hate yeah. that doghouse. I'm not so a, petty that a, I'm gonna build a doghouse in the future. Um, when I get married, and <laughs> every time my wife is mad at me, I'm gonna go into my shed. Go of, there. My shed it's of gonna fun. Be a PlayStation. <laughs> it's gonna be a PS5. <laughs> it's gonna be snacks, drink, liquor, a fucking weed. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Talk. I'm mad at you. Okay, bye. All right, I'm going. Actually, to I prefer you be mad at me today. I want to be I'm alone. Sorry, but nah. Um, where was we going before you? Do you say sorry? Uh, I am a sorry sayer, but sometimes I feel like I say sorry just to say sorry. And yeah. I don't like that because I feel like people think you just got to say sorry. And sometimes I want to defuse the situation and I just be like, I'm sorry. You know what the best, the best, um, I don't say sorry anymore. What do you say? I apologize with actions. Mm. So like I'll do something to change. That's because Lionel got money, y'all. So let no, 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 no. That's paid. not, that's not the actions that I'm talking about. Okay. Because we all know why certain shit may have been like I was just talking about the situation at the live show with the recap, mm-hmm. and I said we will no longer be doing that segment. Okay, that's an action. Oh, that's the action. That's the action. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Nigga, remove yourself from it. Yeah. Remove yourself from the shit that got you in trouble, and you tell your partner, and then you do it with an action. I don't say yeah. sorry. I mean, I I apologize. I was like, you know, I had nothing to do with it, but well, you apologize, but I don't think you was. Like, you don't think you was wrong. I know I wasn't. So wrong. why you say sorry? Um, because because just to say it, like I just said, I mean, so, <laughs> that's what so, I do. I just so, diffuse it. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I I feel like you kind of do still have to say sorry. Like you do as a nigga, you just, you have, just to have to say, to say sorry. sorry. Yeah, I could literally I, I be meant it though. I could be in the club on video and a girl grab my dick, and I'm just like, hey man, that's a, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah, it's like, but they, I still me as a they man, want you to punch her in the forehead. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, beat up. Why wasn't that on camera? No, but like, women really want you to beat. Be, yes. Like beat another woman up for touching you or something. It's like yeah, I can't do. do that about that. Yeah. But you know, and in, in, in actuality, as a man, sometimes they and I do apologize. Sometimes I pre apologize. Hey, I'm sorry that this is about to happen. Yeah, like also like yeah, that's another part of it. Is like I hate when they say why you ever apologize for nothing and they be like why are you sorry. <laughs> it's like I apologize for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you just be like well, if, so if every chick got an attitude or something. I used to do this. I used to be like, "I'm sorry," and they'd be like, "Why?" And I'd be like, "I don't know." Maybe don't I. Ask me why. I thought That's the crazy. word. I thought the words would make you feel a little better. I don't know. Asking why when a shorty asks you why is it's never good. It's it's never. always like, "Why do you love me? Why are we doing this? Why is this? Why is that?" Because I do. Why? 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 Why are you asking why? Stop asking why. Yeah. You should know. Yeah. You should know. You should know. I, out of all I'm, people, I'm not, you should know. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm about to, next time they say why, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say I don't. <laughs> just gonna figure it out from there. Cause now, cause why you do you love me? me? I don't. <laughs> Cause I'm not I'm not a why does this keep not recording? It's stopping? What you ran out of uh space? Nigga, this is here. Yeah, sure. We got the, the this, but I wanna get the backup. Hold on, y'all. I don't know how long that wasn't recording for, but that's how you gotta plug it in sometimes when you got the softy. <laughs> we try to plug the uh, the the keys to the iPad. I mean the the cord. But when you got the soft and you try and you try and press it in, that's how that's how you do it. You just gotta keep pumping. Okay. All right. Oh yo, so, fr- uh, hold on my phone. So I've been out here on the job hunt still, right? Okay. I don't know what's going on with these jobs, man. I think it's something that I'm doing. Cause honestly, this is why I'm, this is why I'm trying to get a job. Okay. For you know, uh, for like a foundation maneuver, and I wanted to be a WFH work from home 
I've yeah. always done social media jobs, so that for me, it's an easy way to still be able to do all of the creative shit that I need to do. Okay, and still have a steady base of income when we like not doing shows. It, what is it? It's hard for you to find a work from home situation, or it's hard for them to hire you. I don't know what's going on because I get to the like I this been like the third or fourth time I got to the point of like talking to. I I mean one time I had like two interviews and they still chose somebody else. Your I'm degree like, is in communications, literally. If you all out there have a work from home that's job, that's that insane. Is in, why are you doing it? I mean, we have a platform. Use it. Uh, it don't got to be work from home. I'll do anything right now. <laughs> 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 if it's in an area of Philly, somewhere around it, I'll do. But I only my max is two, three days a week. I don't do five days a week anywhere. Really? But yeah. I mean, I, th- I feel like that should be a thing, though, right? Yeah. I don't think we should have to work for five days in a week. Lionel's running for president in 2025. I, don't, I really don't think we should have to work for five days. That's five days. Some people Long, do six and seven. Grueling days. Yeah. And you're working all five of them? And you're, of your entire life. That's so counterproductive. Yeah. Nigga, like, that is crazy to me. I don't think that that should be a thing. I think that we should be working for three, three four. Yeah. I'll do three right here. Hear me out. Three, nine to six, nine to six, nine to seven. Okay. Three hard days. Right. Off the rest. Rest. That's it. Yeah. What's the, what's hard about that? I I don't know. I don't I don't know why we have to work so many days out of the week. Do we sound Capitalism. lazy? We or not lazy. Do we just sound like we have a good thing going on here? I don't I don't think America should be working seven what five days a week. Sometimes six. Sometimes six. Well, Crazy. I mean, I forgot. I was watching some. They were talking about who created this structure. But fuck y'all, honestly. And um, yeah, for did? people who got a job yeah, and got kids, I just want to say, uh, kind of commend y'all because that I can't imagine coming home from nine to six and coming home to a fucking kid that be talking and don't shut up and needs attention. You know, it's not their fault; they kids. But for a child that like needs oh, you, no, Henry Ford did in Henry 1926. Ford. The Ford Motor company under the leadership of henry ford famously instituted a eight hour a day five day work week so fuck you fuck henry you henry ford. ford even though you made the, the car ass, um even though that we actually kind of need him he made the car ford. he yeah, created the car i think i think ford was the first cars or ford, ford motor was the first car absolutely that shit about to say uh <laughs> that shit about to say nissan <laughs> now i think ford was the first car like 1901 or some shit like that I think you might be right. That's back when niggas went when jobs in Detroit. Niggas had to move to Detroit for the uh, auto boom. Mm-hmm. Carl Benz, car pioneer, but he is. I do. I do know that uh, Henry Ford is one of the first. This nigga made something with wheels on it. He make no car. The nigga you look. Carl up. Benz gets the credit for inventing the automobile because his car was practical. I'm, I bet you a black person did it. He used gas. I'm pretty sure a black person. I'm pretty sure he might be black. He just painted him white. I hate that shit. Uh, worked like modern cars do today. Benz was born in 1844. Damn. What a time. Fuck was happening in 1844. Honestly, bro. Niggas was around? They could have they could have made anything in that time. Like, well, I could have made a fucking, you know? Like, we got everything right now. What you mean? Though? Like, like, so the inventions they came up with, shout out to them. But it's like that's some shit we could like like you know what I'm saying? Like right now to invent something, we would have to really, really invent some shit. Yeah. I, like we got every, we got wheels. It's all here. We got wheels, we got there. doors, yeah, we got yeah. toothpaste, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like So I like one thing I do as Black History Month, and I just want to say this to all of the white people in history that has got credit for black inventions, use a bitch. Um, you know uh, that a yeah. black person made this idea, that? whether that be um, hair products, whether that be motherfucking cars, whether that be uh, what was I thinking of? Seat belts, lights, seat belts, all of lights, that shit. music, music. We did that shit first, y'all. Some dick eaters. We I can't stand the that whites first. that was talking about like, oh, a fucking Elvis Presley, nigga. Elvis Presley stole that shit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. All of the famous whites. Yeah. Name one right now. I'm pretty sure they stole from somebody. Um, shit. George Washington, I know he yeah. stole from somebody. He had slaves. He had he to steal slaves. from somebody. He was a yeah. bitch. Um, Who was a bitch? Like um, Kid Rock. He a bitch. He's a bitch. Um, even though I look, he fuck with Kid Rock. Um, you fuck with Kid Rock? He cool. He's a cool drummer boy, right? Oh, never mind. Um, who else is white? Bad person. John Cena. 
He kind of cool. <laughs> I see it's kind of cool. All right, come on. We got. We don't know no you more just, whites. You start naming all the cool whites. You because I only know the, the cool ones. whites. Who's it? Melissa Beal. I don't know who that is. I made that up. Britney Bill? Spears. Britney Spears. Fucker. Not okay with her. Um, John she F. Kennedy. Bad person. Yes. Did he get shot? He is <laughs> splitting that motherfucking wheel. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I, we got to turn the speaker off. Let me who? let me call. Let me call you back. I'm recording. Oh shit! Okay. All right. Yeah, who else is white? Um, all of them are just not. You know, they. You really think Joe Rogan invented the podcast? He didn't. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Who the fuck like, said Joe Rogan invented the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it was Combat Jack, nigga. Yeah, exactly. Rest a piece combat of Combat. Jack. Black. He black. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, he black, nigga. I never seen a picture of him. He's just a black New York nigga. Yeah. Rest in peace, though. New York hat. Shout, rest in peace, Combat Jack. Um, what else do white people try to take? Uh, I feel like they try to take everything. I feel like they Beyonce try to they can make country music. I feel like we created country music. I like that song. This ain't Texas. Woo! They just hold with them. Then you down, 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 down. All right, put your headphones on. Country beat. Yeah, country music type beat. I'm a name, me, me, no. About to rap over the music that we created. Woo! As black people. <laughs> the music that we created that they said that they created. With Nas on that song, he said, I'm a ride to the end like Nigger. Lil Nas X. Or <laughs> Somebody said, he don't really understand that bar. Who? Um, Fabulous. Fabuloso. Are you connected to it? I should be right now. To the road. He's a road connector. We got to make our own. We the new Beyonce. Hold on real quick, y'all. All right, I'm with it. What I got to do? You know, I was trying it. to find a song to go with that song. I said, I know they're going to like this song. What you mean? That um Texas Hold'em song. I'm trying to find it. Oh, like song. a mix? Yeah, to mix it with. Or to put the I lyrics like, over? Because I like it. But I got to figure out how I'm going to transition like into it. It's a lot of shit that goes into it. And I was playing around. You made it already? Yeah. Oh, you honey, too. Mm-hmm. We should do an instrumental over her whole shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. It's a new year, man. It's uh-huh. a new year. We still out here. Niggas know my fucking body, nigga. We the Boy. only nigga still lasting in this. Oh, I'm starting yeah. to start talking shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, hey. These my nuts. You gotta hold them. You gotta lick them down, 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 down. down. This my gooch. Woo! You gotta touch it. Lick them on down, 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 down. And That's you gonna make suck it. me uh, horny, right. but I'm horny hey, for to you. you. What the fuck? Oh, hey. bring it back, hey. Real hey. niggas on the block smoking crack, hey. Yeah. I'll punch a fuck nigga in his back, uh. Okay. Niggas wanna talk shit, I hit him back, uh. Oh. Hit him with that foot splat, 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 uh. uh. Nigga wanna talk shit, get him back, uh. I yeah. ain't never ever motherfucking lack, uh. I'm trying to tap it from the back, uh. What? Got what? it? What? Hold me down. Hold me what? down. But this ain't no. Hold it down. Uh, grab my nuts. Uh, pull them down. down. Pick them up. Up. You know the sound. Uh, how the sound go? Woo! Oh, we, oh, we, oh that's the sound I make when you Woo! when you lick on the motherfucking. <laughs> Woo! When we talking about baby, that's you. When I touch on that coochie. Yeah. Hey, let on me rub booty. it real slow. Rub it real slow, slow, slow. We got. Oh, we don't got no country accents. Oh. Let me rub it on down. Woo! Getting them to grow. It's so Texas. But you Ooh. don't hold them. I love my woman like with a fat old ass with a fat old butt. But she I know do. she's a nasty slut. Set. Ooh, baby, that's me. Ooh, baby, that's you. Ooh. Like my rat stew, baby, with a dude. It's my balls. Eat that pussy like rat stew. Eat that, that pussy, pussy like, like raccoon. Ooh, ooh. Fry it up. Throw it down. down. Got a smoker. Put All her in the, the town. town. What we talking about? This a hoe down. Fuck right those now. niggas right across the town. Whoa. This a white town. You niggas gotta leave. Why the fuck would your black ass come and get a key? This is a more of a okay. Well, I'm sorry. We was going to. We was Why do you think authentic. that Southern people are white? <laughs> mm. I went straight. I went straight Whoa, white niggas, bro. Brother. Whoa. I'm sorry. There's black I'm sorry, Southerners. Yeah. I'm sorry, black people. Name one. Shannon Shannon Sharp. Banner. Shannon Sharp, country yeah, nigga, motherfucker. He is. He's the, the most country nigga I ever heard of in my life. That nigga my favorite he, right he, he eats squirrel. You know what else he eats? For a fact. These interviews. I know he's so happy yeah, about his platform. Club, Club Shay Shay is, is a crazy name. Yeah. But I do like his 
I you like what, what you gonna doing. say to what you gonna say to him? Fuck you gonna tell Shane the shirt. Yeah. That's why niggas kill me. Shoot him. What? You called him gay. He offered you his fist. Yeah. Oh, Michael Epps. Yeah, that's Michael a little crazy. crazy. That's a little crazy. Yeah. Need it. London. Twirl. Yeah. 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 What is it? Come through, I'm in it. Talk make business. Baby I'm girl, you business. did this. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. This is a baby joke. It's really beat. about the drill. thrill. It's really about the thrill. Yeah. Yeah. Got the poker. Don't got a gun. I got a knife. Knife. You, you is my son. You is my son. Like one. You bet not run. Two. Three, Yo, four, come up the five, forecast. Six, six, seven. Come I'm Count Dracula. Dracula. I'm Count Dracula. Count Dracula. Sink my teeth in her. Huh. Dracula. Uh, uh, uh. Riding around in a Benz. Oh, you that's English. my friends. Friends. What we talking about, baby girl? That's my friends. That's my friends. Do this for the free. Uh. Do this cause I'm real. I'm finished. Yeah. I'm a finish, nigga. I'm a finish. I don't get Put offended. It. Yeah. I guess getting it. It's she just let me in her mouth, and I'm a hitting it, isn't it? Come up the forecast. You know what I do when I'm from when they when it rains in the pores, pores and it rains, rains in the pores, pores and it rains. You now with the thing, get an English tea in the muffin and the crimp it. You want to know how I'm getting it? Just beans. Yeah. Beans crimp it. Yeah. Yo. Oh. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, pterodactyl in London is crazy. Because that's a perfect word for London niggas. Niggas <laughs> 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 say. Pterodact- yo, why don't pterodactyl start with a P, yo? <laughs> Damn, sicky. The fuck? Why does it start with a P? Yeah. No, it don't. You didn't know. You dumb motherfucker. Let's bet money on it. Yo, I stop doing that. I fucking gun. dinosaurs. Look up. Look it up. How, do, how am I supposed to look it up if it's spelled with a P, nigga? That, that's crazy. No, look up. Look up pterodactyl. Per- pterodactyl. Bro, said pterodactyl is spelled with a P. This ain't Texas. Oh, we just hold them. Oh, when you down, down, down. Oh, that's crazy. Down, down. Whoa, per- how do you pronounce this? Can I tell you? Pterodactylus. Like they put a US at Pterodactylus. Which one was gay? You think he was the gay one? Yes. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Pterodactylus. I'm Pterodactylus. <laughs> Freaking. It's, it's pterodactylus, bro. It's a U.S. at the end of it. No, it's not, bro. Pterodactylus. They're silent, nigga. In in antiquus, pterodactylus antiquus, a n t i q u u s, is actually a specific type of pterosaur. A pterosaur? Oh, oh, are they a uh, what? A ter- pterosaur. Okay, in the group of pterosauria. They are they are some kinky, <laughs> which encompasses the entire group of prehistoric flying reptiles. Pterodactylus antiquus lived 150 million years ago. Eight insects. I thought they was about Yo, to say this eight. Is damn. Lionel, this is Lionel's animal <laughs> facts. I'm just letting him go real quick. Eight insects or fish and had wingspans of up to five feet. Shout out to the pterodactyls. No. Damn, that's crazy. They got no bitches. They was the they was the ugly ones for sure. The, the pterodactyls. The pterodactylus. Man, Pter- pterodactylus. They just hold them. Why would you put a P there? Because Americans are stupid. You think we could live among dinosaurs, and will or will we have died? I think that. No, because like I said, we think we the biggest motherfuckers. I feel like if they was all, if we, we didn't kill them all them off, or they didn't extinct, they'd be like they'll be using us as like 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 toys. You know how like cow meat is good. Excuse me, cow meat is good. Why'd you I was gonna say know. dinosaur meat. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur meat go crazy. <laughs> Why you say cow meat out of instead of dinosaur? Because I wanted to like lead into it so that way okay. it wouldn't be a pause. Okay, go ready. ahead. Cause you can't just pop out and be like dinosaur meat. Dinosaur meat's good. good. No, it probably is. You think dinosaur meat go hard? <laughs> no, go hard is crazy. <laughs> dinosaur I think, meat. Go I think that no outside. Like, no pause. I think dinosaur meat might be a good joint because they fly like they got tender ass like joints. They and just shit. be out here wilding. That might be a good ass lemon pepper dinosaur, 
Or like a Come fucking on. mango habanero dinosaur. Come on. That's, so that's some shit Wingstop. That's actually what we eat in that McDonald's, though. We eat old dinosaurs that they found that they can't I, uh, answer I like for. to think so. Yeah. I like to think so. Who who Who's eating... Who's eating from... From, from McDonald's, you... Wendy's you for sure. Like Wendy's me for sure. <laughs> That's your whole shit. Yeah, I like Wendy's. Yeah. Take a, take me back to when they shit was yellow. Nah. Yeah, they used to have like yellow bags and shit. I eat Wendy's back then. Yellow fries. I used to eat Burger King. I used to eat the uh the Italian sandwich. It was a long I sub. have an unpopular opinion about Burger King. It's not bad. It's not a bad place. It's not bad if it ain't a bitch in your ear telling you it's nasty. I mean it's not it's really not <laughs> bad. Like it's not it's not bad at all. Right? Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Niggas on that be eating from Burger King. It is a it's a place. Real shit. On that topic, Little Caesars is not bad either. Nah, Little Caesars is crazy. Nah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's very standard pizza. It's very above the market frozen. It's a nice little mixture. It just it just That's does crazy. it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to eat there though. You don't you don't. Well, it was yeah. a time where that's all I could afford. <laughs> They sell pizza at uh, Whole Foods, and it's it's not it's pretty. Nigga, cheap. Whole Foods expensive as fuck, bro. You think Whole Foods is expensive? Nigga, I got a box of like that food, that hot food shit they be doing. Oh, that's th- <laughs> all right. That that's where they get niggas though. <sighs> by the they pound weigh it. Shit? Yeah, they by the weigh pound. it, and that's where and because the starting price of it is like seven dollars a pound. Yeah, so they they be like, yo, listen, yo, getting three pounds you, of food, you fill this shit up. <laughs> you you paying for three pounds of of all of this shit that you got in here? Yeah, nigga. Like one time I went in there and got a. I, I seen they had these uh these like maple something sweet potatoes. I said, oh, Ooh. I start scooping them like, oh, this you mean? Yeah, this put a little Whole chicken Foods. in there. I yeah. get to the front. That shit was like twenty four some. I tell the lady, I said, Miss, this one be twenty. She said, Yeah, it's about a pound. She was like, uh, she was like, you already kind of put it in the box. She was like, I could kind of take it. I said, you know what? I'm gonna just buy it. Yeah, I'm that's gonna, crazy. It's crazy. Though. I got make her like throw it in the trash. I was yeah, like, you know what? I'm gonna just. Yeah, that's I got sympathy, it. sympathy card. That's yeah. crazy. Oh, it was, it was the Whole Foods right on. Uh, what you call it? Leaving uh, leaving Armour. Oh well, yeah, right in the west. Yeah, because yeah, I used to work right there. Damn. So I would pull up in there, John, and just throw. I would go get them cook, good ass cookies too. Them man. cookies. I made cookies the other night, and it turned into one big ass cookie. What you put them too close together? I put them in a the cast iron skillet. It's turning. It turned That's one the big same, ass bro. Yeah, I was just like, "Fuck it." I ain't had no baking tray. Did you spray it at least? Yeah, I sprayed it. Hell okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. I like to take my cookies out premature, like real soft. Oh, when they boneless. Yeah, and then I, well, I let them cool for about fifteen minutes. And they boneless, just, boneless cookies, the best ones. Yeah. When they not all the way cooked all the way through, you ain't yeah. let them get that backbone in them just yet. It's I don't like, want no crunchy ass. Cookie, I eat bro. the bitch made cookies. That's what they Excuse are. Me. They the, they the bitch made. They the whole ass nigga cookies. Yeah, they don't got no backbone in them. They just some whole ass cookies. They yeah, fall no off the brim a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I like I like them them type of cookies. We over here having conversations about chocolate chip cookies, bro. Because I'm thinking about it right now. Um, this is this one thing I want to say. Uh, before I get going, let me go ahead and write this. Oh this wait, before you even do any of that, let's church announcements? let's let's uh, do the church announcements. Where okay, can we find all of the dates? I'll it's tell you where to find all of the dates. You can either go to the link in our bio on Instagram, right? Or if you are a listener to this. Then you can go to the description in this episode and find all of the links for our upcoming shows and events. Or if you're a watcher, I copy and paste the exact description. Line up with Yes. Yeah. So check in the description. It's below. Copy your tickets if we are in a city near you. And if we're not, it's okay to travel, guys. Yeah. COVID, so COVID is lifted, man. You could you could fly now, you know. Remember when we couldn't fly? Okay. March first. Yes. We have Pod Nation. Pod Nation. Yes, yes. That is a live experience that we will be presenting to you on the 1st of March. So make sure you go ahead and cop them tickets. We got a bunch of different podcasts that will be a part of the situation. Larry, give us, rifle off a couple of podcasts that will be in the building. Go off top of your I, head. I, I never understood what rifle meant. Rifle off, and that's smart. Like, shoot. Yeah, like, get it on. get it. We got, uh, we got, first of all, we got Lionel. I'm a I'm a podcaster. Um, we got uh, Tequila Talk from DC. We mm-hmm. got Terry Roseland from Chicago. We got uh, Yup another podcast from Philly. Yep. Stutton Sean. We got Chris Cavallari. You know we got Jaden Evolving. We got you know just to name a few. I want you. Isha's to come gonna on. be in the fucking e- building. Isha's actually the leader. She's gonna be hosting all night. 
Come on. Hosting and, 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 and moderating. Big all night host. Yeah, so um, yeah, so make sure y'all come out. It's gonna be a super good time and we're going to run this back next year. But right now we're gonna start it right in Philly. Make it a annual thing. Very much so. So So and then uh directly after that we have the Pod Nation after party. Absolutely. So make sure you go ahead and R S V P for that, pull up for that. Yep. Niggas gonna be playing tunes from eleven to two. Yep. Getting y'all fucking bodies moving. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all niggas hear that fly shit. You heard me? You might hear some Texas hold them, nigga. I don't know what to play. I'm just out here playing shit. You mean you might hear, yeah, get, yeah, glow. Yeah, glow. Stomp a little pussy helping the Chanel clothes. Yeah, glow. But yes, uh, um, right after then, that, the after then we party. Got, yeah, so, and then we got uh, New York. We got, we're going to be in the fucking, we got I'm March on my nominal, my kind of animal, my final, my, my best is animal. March 30th. That shit is honorable. Shut up, March 30th. That's how New York niggas rap. Yeah, yes. He's right. He said, I got to save my time. <laughs> I can't waste no time. March 30th first before that is uh, uh, if you're a local, if you're, if you're right in the area surrounding uh, karaoke. Yes, Big Ass Karaoke will be March 30th. Yes. Um, We also might have another event coming up. We just got off the phone. With the boy. You know, yeah, we, we be out here making Bobby shit work. Shout out to Bobby Flowers. Flows. So we we working on something in between then, then and then. Yes, you know we trying to get y'all up up and outside. So um, New York, we April. got that April thirteenth. Yes, we will be in New York fucking city. So That's make sure y'all buy those tickets, man. We need New York in the building. All my New York niggas with Thames and, and fucking New York hats. Yeah. 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 That ass, my nigga. Pull up to the show, my nigga. That ass, nigga. Word to my mother, nigga. Word to my Pull up on everything mother, I know, nigga. nigga. That ass, nigga. That ass. Real shit, dude. And then we're going to be in Richmond April 25th. I don't yes. know what the Richmond accent is. Try to do your best, Richmond. I will not do that. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, all, my, all my DC niggas, pull up April 27th. We gonna be out there. All my how, no, go ahead. What's DC on a on a monotonous? No, they say that's uh, Baltimore. You sicing it, Mo. You sice you sicing it, Mo. You sicing it, Mo. And then all my Baltimore niggas could pull up to that joint too. D- dumbass, dummy. I don't. Why you say dumbass like that? Dumbass, because that's how they be. Dummy. You fuck is you talking about in the monotonous? The monotonous with the monotonous, monotonous. You fuck are you? Um, okay. Then we have L.A. That's going to be May 4th. We will be in L.A. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say it again. Los Angeles. The tickets are up and running right now. So if you are in L.A. or the surrounding areas of L.A., this will be our first time on the West Coast performing live, and you don't want to miss yeah, that shit. for sure. I swear to God you don't want to miss that shit. I swear, I swear for God, nigga. Oh God. Um, June first, we will be in Miami, Florida. Come on, on the boat and shit. That's gonna be the big show. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So we, we need boat, y'all nigga. to pull up. We gonna be, we gonna try to make a whole little weekend out of that one. Facts. Niggas gonna be on the boat. I'm gonna be wearing a Miami Vice suit. I don't know what to tell you, niggas, man. I'm gonna be wearing nothing. Please come. If you if you in Miami and you out here, uh, give me some crocodile meat, man. I like, I like give me some barbecue, man. I need some good fuck. I need to be. In Dade County, I don't need to be in Miami. Why would you need to be, be in, in Dade County? I'm gonna be in Miami for that night for the live show, but I'm gonna be with the people because I'm a man of the people. I like to be in the cities. I like to go deep inland. Hello, who does who does look like? I don't even know who that is. I don't know, but me either. But they just following who they look like. Who does it look like? Yes, it does. Yes, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> oh my gosh! But yes, um, but you said Miami so. That's Vice. yes. We're gonna be out in Miami on um, Jesus Christ. June first. Yes. So all of the tickets for all of the upcoming events will are in our bio. Make sure you go ahead and um cop up. Yes. Check out our check out the, the fucking description to see where's what's happening where and how we how we moving. I fucking love you. I can't wait to see you. Yeah. We some fucking livers. We are. We some we some fucking live niggas, man. Shit is yeah. live, man. Shit is real live, nigga. And if Shit y'all is see real this, fucking live, nigga. If y'all see this, that's crazy. Um, I'm a live nigga. We talked about dropping a podcast, different schedule. Y'all should chime in down below. Yeah, let us know how y'all feel about. Y'all want the podcast show, audio man. and video same day or next day? Like, yeah, let us know. How, how do you want, want it? it? How do you feel? Coming up as a nigga in a chest. Nobody know what he said. 
I'm in a I'm for real. Yo. How do you want One thing about women, especially especially my black woman, because that's all I know about, is that they always going out to eat. That's like all they do. Like with their friends, like you could talk to a black woman any given day and like I'm about to go to breakfast with my friend. Or, I'm yes. about to go to brunch with my friend. Yes. But like where is this where is this source of income coming from? Like I respect the game. I'm trying to just figure out how I can yeah. get on the same level. Cause they gonna try out a new restaurant. They gonna go with their homies to a restaurant, whether that yeah. be breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. They gonna figure it out. Yeah. Nine times out of ten. Niggas don't do that. We don't go out like I'm about we, we about to just go get brunch. You feel what I'm saying? That's that is so I think that's that's good. That's good math. Now that's girl here's, math. here's what here's where it gets tricky. Right. Cause women eat like fucking birds when they're not at the restaurant. Mm. So the times that we're spending money on like regular snack shit, like you yeah. know how we was just talking about how we be eating here, there, the whole food shit that we da da da. They saved all of that money up that we would usually oh, use okay, okay. for that and they go out. So like whenever you hit a shorty up and you like, you know, damn, like what did you eat today? And they be like, like nothing. I had a fucking I had a Twix and a piece of gum. And an apple. <laughs> and a and a, and had a, a Twix and, and a an apple. half of an apple. And you be like, damn, that's what you ate all day? He's smart. Yeah. What they usually doing is they saving that shit for when they they're big girl stomachs when okay. they go out. Okay. They they don't eat normal Women don't eat like like normal people. They don't. They eat like fucking birds. They eat like ants. You like what did you eat today? I had a I had a half of a Snickers and a like what? I had a vitamin C pack. What? Yeah, I had some, like I had some B two and a bag of sun chips. Is like I had, I had a tea with ginger and, and, and peach, <laughs> and then I also had a half of a orange. And you like okay? It's like, but I'm what the I'm, fuck? I'm full though. It's like. Are you? But then you hit them up on the weekend and they be at all the brunches. Everywhere. That's because they didn't spend their money like how we did. They saved their stomach. You said they, yeah. they, they used their big girl stomach they on the weekend. They used their big girl stomach on the weekend. Meanwhile, yeah, that's when they go out to brunches and meanwhile, shit. Meanwhile, we eating like fucking adults all, all, all uh, week. Literally through and through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a fucking cheesesteak. Yeah. I had a, I had a fucking hoagie. I had a, yeah. I had a big boy meal. I had, yeah. seen a, I had seen a clip on the internet and it was like, um, and I kind, I kind of agree with it. It said, uh, I feel like I feel like men, I feel like us as men, we need to step up and start to be more, quote, traditional in the fact of being chivalrous because in the influx of the last, like, maybe 15 to 20 years, women have seen that niggas ain't been stepping up and not doing the bare minimum, uh, i.e., like, taking them out for lunch, mm. taking them shopping, taking them on trips, and the... And the reason is that he said that I feel like the reason women been taking themselves out on vacations, taking themselves out to eat, taking themselves shopping is because niggas haven't been reaching that that point, that minimum at least Mm -hmm. to be a good nigga. So women had to adjust, unfortunately, unfortunately, to start doing everything on their own. So when you come to newer women. Um, you have to step correctly because a lot of them, most of them, most of black women, they got their shit together. So they're not looking for you to be like, Absolutely. oh, I'm going to take you out. It's like, nigga, no, we already got that. What can you do after that? Right. What can you add right. to that? You know what I'm saying? Right. right. What uh, What else do you, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like a, a broken record or a, or a Twitter page or whatever, but the, the, the whole table situation, they be like, nigga. By the time you get there, she she built her table. The table's like built. She, yeah. she got her shit together. She know exactly right. what she prefers, what she likes, whatever. Right. I'm not saying you gotta fucking recreate the will or anything like that, but you definitely do gotta come correct, nigga. Like you can't yeah. just be pulling up and just thinking about to just scratch your ass and she gonna think that that shit is some cool shit, nigga. You actually not. gotta do something. Like you have you to. Can't, you gotta you gotta introduce people to new things or at least try. And I'm telling you, the minute you you at least fucking try. They notice that shit. They notice Ooh, effort. Like they not fucking dumb. Yeah. They they see you trying. They see you putting in effort. They like, oh, all right, bet. Like at least this nigga's trying. This he nigga's trying. out here that's not even trying. Yeah. So you, as long as you fucking try, and you and you doing some fly shit. Yeah. I guarantee you, she gonna love that shit. What they say? The efforts of her dresses in the, the west the, the better oh, my right. effort, the wetter her treasure. Yeah, that's he thought, what he, he said. Thought they were crazy with that. He yeah, did kind of go crazy with that. He did a little. But yeah, bit. like that's some real shit. Though I was listening to that convo, and I'm like, that's true. Cause 
you know, the table shit is like, like you said, the table built. Niggas should right. be trying to still bring the table. It's like, right. the table already there. Right. Uh, she you got, she got the table, brother. And she that built comes, that shit. And that comes with age. Uh, you know, it's, stable. Some it's people, a stable table. Some people will disagree with our takes and feel like, or that take and feel like, you know, we trying to pander. But I'm also 31 now, and I've been dating and, 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 and you know, in, you know, in relationships out of them and just, you know, learning myself and learning as a 31 year old, what I got to bring to any relationship that I'm going to put myself in. Well, also I'm speaking you know? from experience because yeah, my, yeah. my current shorty, she's got all of that shit. She got her shit situated. She got her own company. She works for herself. It's not like I, you know, she don't work for nobody. She makes money on her own. Right. Like I'm, I'm not just speaking from, a pandering you know, You're not talking out of air. From fucking experience. My shorty got her shit together. So I couldn't just go into that situation and 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 treat it like I was just some fucking young bull. Right. I had to pull up and be like, all right, bet. Let me try to, you know, yeah. introduce her to new shit. You know, keyword, try. Try. And I did. And we would, you know, try whether shit. it was like some, whether it was some food shit or just an experience all together. Yeah. You know, we have fun. We go out. We do new shit. We do fly shit. And, fly shit only. And it's not like I'm like, um, I didn't walk in and just be like, all right, well, you know, you won't come me. over. When, when we going to do this? When we going to do that? No, I plan shit out. Yeah. Figure your partner out. And be a planner. From there. Yeah, Don't be plan, a fucking plan slacker. Plan shit out, man. Speaking of planning out, do you gonna, do you, did you do that thing? You doing lunch? Yeah, I mean, no, but I am. Shit. This is a week. <laughs> no, no, but I'm, I'm, this is happen. a busy week, bro. This is a hell of a week for me yeah, right now. This is so, a busy week, but it's going. I'm going to make it happen, and I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. That's good. But it's been a fucking week, and it's yes. going to be a week. We got, yes. we got. I got a happy hour. Oh yeah, come to uh, if you in Philly. Come to happy hour with the uh, with the oh, Kyle yeah. Mega chapter of Iota Fate Vitari Incorporated at Blue Brook. And 56 nice. in Lancaster on Wednesday at 6, 6 to 9. So if you're free and you're in the area, Greeks welcome, non-Greeks welcome. Just come out, have a sip. We're going to rock out. It's an RSVP. Am I welcome? Anybody, yeah, anybody, everybody's, yeah, of course. So there you go. Open to the public. If a nigga like me could go. Follow a Philly underscore Iotas and, and RSVP. It's free RSVP, obviously. Yeah, follow Philly underscore Iota. Yeah. Don't you make a sound out your mouth. I didn't say anything, <laughs> bro. I'm, Don't I'm, you make I'm a sound fun. out your, I like this. Well, I know saw some flip-flops in the, in the, in the, in the I like gym. the blue, brown, and gold. You watch your mouth, motherfucker. That's, that's y'all. I know. You almost said blue. I didn't say blue and gold. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Fuck them niggas. I yeah. only rock with the brown and gold. Yeah, straight like that. How, um, they, how they do it? I don't know. Do a thing. Not even close. Not even close. I'm Thank trying, you, though. I'm um, trying to rep the set. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this summer, this summer we having a cookout, and I want everybody to slide out. Oh, um, Greeks and non Greeks, welcome! And it's, it's gonna be probably in like the end of July. Who grilling? Um, you gotta get the old. Y'all got any old heads in y'all chapter? Yeah, we do. They know they look like they know how to grill, or no? You could be yeah, honest. No, one of them do. One of them look. Two of them look real grilly. One is a little younger, like a little older than me. All right, that's a bet. All right, so look like cool. he was built so for we this pulling shit. up. All right, yeah, bet. for sure. Throw some glizzies on the fucking. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of drinks, a lot of beautiful women, a lot of also with voter registration probably. Oh, you can register to vote. Cook out, cook out with a purpose, but it's going to be popping, though. Oh, that's hard. So follow Philly underscore Iotas, but next topic. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Has a, has a, has a, so here's a, here's my rule, right? Because I done been through this and I done put people through this. Um, What's your rule? When you, when your friend, let me write this down. Uh, let me write this, this little stuff <laughs> ramper down. What did it say? 119. You know, Texas. You won't hold When me. you're, uh. Down, 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 down. All right, cool. When your friend, when your friend is talking about their partner, yes. like their girl to you, mm-hmm. and vice versa, if your home girl talking about her nigga, like when they talking about their partner, you only have about five words and things that you can say in support of your friend. You got to make sure that you stay respectful. No matter how much your friend is snapping yeah. on a partner, they yeah. could be like, "Me, I told this bitch this." You better not say, "Yeah, that bitch tripping." No, yeah, yes, I, I'm yes. very, I'm very conscious. I'll be like, "Okay," and then yeah. I, I revert. I'll be like, mm, mm, "Okay, right, bro." Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to jump in and be like, "Yeah, why the fuck?" It's like you could be like, "Yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy." You can't. You could be mad. 
But you can't be too mad. You can't be too. You can't, can't be. be you can't mad. be there mad. Yeah, you, you gotta. You're mad. You gotta be. Yeah. You gotta be uh mad adjacent. You gotta perfect, be perfect. mad over there a little bit <laughs> from from a viewer's point of view. You just exactly. gotta be like, damn. <sighs> Damn. You, you you make a couple sounds and that's it. You you be like, mm, you know the up. best the best phrase. That's crazy. That's it. You cannot miss with that's crazy. Or that's crazy. Or bro. I feel you, bro. I feel that. I feel you, bro. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, like yeah. you gotta be you gotta Damn, be you gotta you. be real wrong for me to tell you that you're wrong. God. Like you gotta be wrong as shit. Yeah, you you gotta be super wrong. <laughs> you gotta be foul yeah. for me yeah, to be because like. Because the thing is, like, yeah. you my you my homie, so right. I ain't going. I ain't about to be wilding unless you like. Yeah. Unless you drawn, that's then I gotta be like, bro, all right, yeah, you, that's a, enough is enough. You might have did some shit there. I ain't even gonna hold you, like, yeah. bro. Was I wrong because I I did this and da da da? It's like, yeah, nigga, you cheated with like four other women. Right. Yeah, one was all right, like you know. Yeah, four nigga, damn, that's kind of crazy. Like you, you know, I tell you, man, before, like when they like, talk, bro, you drawn, like, yeah, bro, you gotta. But that's that's the thing about niggas. You gotta just be like, look, bro, I said you my man. You will always be my man. Right, you feel me? You fucking right. up with you mean? You gonna be my guy? You always gonna be my. But I'm gonna tell you. Do you think like you know what I'm saying? Like if this who you wanna? <laughs> do you think this is like conducive to what I got going on? Or you know what yeah. I'm saying like you gotta just yeah, give it to him yeah. in a different way. Yes, it's about I'm, how you present I'm a, things. I'm all, I'm all for that. I'm all I agree with not not uh going too hard with that shit. That's dope. That's the Jason. Mm-hmm. From Joseph. Oh, oh, he rocking with her. Yeah. Who is that though? Look what he called it though. This Chase. Sturdy. Ned Love Jones. <laughs> Ned Love. <Jones. laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, she chilling. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Do you? If your uh, if your homie tell you they talking to it, I mean, I'll make it even easier. If 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 your son tell you that he talking to a to a girl and she ugly, do you tell your son that she ugly? If your son is talking to somebody, yeah. If my son is talking to a woman and I feel like she's uh, first of all, let's get this understood. How old is my son? He a young boy. He like he like thirteen. You can't really call thirteen year old girls ugly, bro. He like thirteen or fourteen. We can't call them ugly. Why not? <laughs> we that little just, girl ugly as shit. Can't, we hey, can't. that little girl right there with the snot coming out her nose and shit. Yeah, nigga, no, I don't. You can't do that. No, bro. She gotta be what? She just. You can't just call the All kids right, ugly, bro. Sixteen. You can't call the kids ugly. You can't you call a sixteen year old ugly. You no, bro. I'm calling all them little niggas ugly. If, they, no. if you was an ugly little nigga, I'm gonna be like, yo. Get it. No, you can't do that, bro. Nah. No. What rule is that? You, it's just There's a rule, no bro. rule, bro. You got like because if your son bring home a little ugly, girl, because your you son, but here's like, the thing, though. Bro. So you be looking at some of your folks, your means, and be like, "Look, my yeah, son, that's just right, how he feels." That's feel. cool. Like, yeah, yeah, imagine, fact. imagine you got a cousin and they bring a shorty around, and she's not like that. You not gonna tell your cousin like, "Yo, cuz." <laughs> be like, no, that's I crazy. Tell my cousin that. I can't. You can't. I'm not telling my cousin that. I don't care if he hears this. My cousin used to date this fat white woman. Like that's crazy, insane. That's I, very. She's crazy. She's probably such a nice girl. She's probably so nice. But I, I used nice to look to at him like, bro, like you, such a handsome brother. Yeah. But you know, I guess it brother, has no, love has no bounds. Handsome man. He what said, brother, ew. brother, ew. I, I I think maybe love has no bounds. I don't know. Good God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't, I, yeah. That like it's kind of not even your space, huh? Like when it's when it's cousins, you just like all right. Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. Now, like, yeah, but if that's my son, that's my young boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to teach you right from wrong. Like, you gotta, you gotta just rock how you rock. I gotta tell him. Yeah, yo, you could do so much better. Like, damn, son, you could do better than this. So I'm just saying, you can do better. Yeah. Well, if 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 here's the thing, right? So here's another interesting topic that I wanted to speak on. Um, what is that? Speak one? on it. One twenty four. So, uh, wrap it up, then. That's what they said. So to listen, the button and, okay. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all in support of my children choosing any sexual orientation that they would like. Right? Agreed. If I have a child and they're gay or a lesbian, no problem. But please don't bring home a fucking white person. Please do <laughs> not bring bring home a white person. I'm stuttering because no. so so hard. That's how much I don't get. I don't. It fucked me up. I'm stuttering. Do not bring home a, a white person. 
You could bring home a, a you could bring home your uh your boyfriend. My son bring home a boyfriend. My my daughter bring home a girlfriend. I just yeah. beg of you that they are not white. Why? It's just let's let's just not let's just why we keeping white. It's, even if you even if you heterosexual, please don't bring home a white person to my house. I'm ch- I'm trying to keep my family black. I don't want. <laughs> imagine your son your son come home with a nigga and this motherfucker white. Um, little 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 what's what's white people name? Um, Max. Little Max. Why why am I, why Max want my son? Yeah. Leave my I, son alone. Right, well, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be too too. I'm judgmental. Be hot, bro. I'm behind this shit, bro. I'm gonna just just know my wife going here earful, but I, to my son, I'm gonna be like, you sure? And if they say yeah, I'm gonna be like, all right, cool. Bring you know, bring little. Bring little Mex- little Mexican, Mexican, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, it just yeah, bring little Mexican. To bring, you to bring a colonizer in this house is that's, crazy. That's that's crazy. My wife gonna hear. She not gonna hear the end of it. Nah, but she, at the end of the day, like if if this 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 make you happy, it don't make them happy, happy, bro. They being forced to do that. Go ahead, you you can rock out, man. Damn, I'm gonna be like, damn. Oh my ass! Right, just pop so, out. No, it did pop out. Bro. It did, bro. Nah, it didn't pop out. <laughs> I'm about to write it down the list. <laughs> One twenty six popped pop out. out. <laughs> One twenty six. Um, yeah, man. Oh, uh, my son, my yeah. I mean, hey, yo, man. Bro, Little his nigga. bro, his love is love. No Little, color, yeah, bro. Shit, fuck out here. Come through. I'm my racist. daughter, my my daughter, my daughty. My daughty. My daughty come through. My come through. My daughty come through with a little with a little ugly white girl. You just gotta be like, all right, man. Let's see. All right. Um, you know, you old enough to know what you want. <laughs> this what you want this for the rest you of your life? Unseasoned food. That's what. You, that's what you're gonna get. You know, somebody not really understanding, truly understanding your struggles. Now, that's the thing about dating a white is like you can't really. I don't know. Whatever. I said the before. I was in the gym the other day speaking of racism, and I heard some white people <laughs> make a racist ass joke when I was leaving out. Love that. What was so it? it was an old white man walking up to his old white friends, two of them, and they were caught off guard too. He walks up, he goes. Oh man, he was like, I'm not high right now. He's like, what do you mean? He was like, I don't smell any of that marijuana smoke up in here <laughs> because the niggas be playing ball at the oh, fucking court. Oh yes, at I the love YMCA. that. I love it. And you know yeah. they had a fight at the court like a month ago. Oh, did they? Yes. So he was That's saying like the hilarious. niggas is not here. Like, oh yeah, they not in this. And room. I just walked by it and I was like, that. Yeah, you know what? I'll be upset. Funny, funny joke. That's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. They be getting them off. They get the white people they, racist. White people, they they get, they get that them shit. jokes off. They though. get them jokes off, bro. They get them jokes off. That shit. I, I should have said something. No. Um. No. <laughs> no. You just gotta let them. You just gotta let them do that shit. And and, and you mean? Oh, it ain't as dark around here as it. it ain't it ain't as it ain't as dark around here as it used to be. You know. Yeah. That's a, that's a good. That's little, a, no. That's kind of. I had to say something. That's crazy. I would have to say. It something. ain't as a little. You know. But then, like, if I if, if they jump me and it more and, and a, a black nigga see it and he just let it happen, I'm never fighting for my race again. Oh, if a nigga see you get fucked up and getting, he don't do nothing, jump- yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. jump in. You're done, niggas. I'm telling you, that's what's gonna bring niggas. us closer Coming. together. That's from uh, the Boondocks. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't watch it, but I heard that on Twitter. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I I wrote this down the other day and I was like, um. If somebody that you were dating, that you bought to pursue, and vice versa too, if somebody gives you a warning about them, how do you go about that? Like, say you interested in a shorty, right? Okay. And, and you and somebody be like, "Oh, you about to fuck with Tanya, bro? Yeah. Like Tanya, low key, bro, on some shit." Or a girl to tell you, or even your woman friends, or a woman to tell you, like, I don't know if you gonna want fuck with this one, bro. Like, how uh, do you? And you, but you like her though. Do so you, you are you saying like, is it hate or is it? Not the even thing is, the thing is like in your mind you could be like are they looking out for me or are they hating? Well, if you really like them, you are gonna call it hating, right? Right? Because you, cause you right. already in tune. When when I was dating my uh, my ex, and my mom would give me warnings like, bro, she seemed a little da da da. I used to be like, mom, da, da, da. like so when you yeah, in it, you, you like, like Yo. fuck all that. Yeah. But I'm not even a hating aspect. It's more about how do you approach it or do you even approach it? Do you ask them about it? Do you ask your partner? Like you just be like, fuck it, we gonna see. Yeah, I think um, it. I think it depends on what part of the of the relationship you're in when you get told whatever it is that you told. Because if right. you in that that head over heels phase, honeymoon, honeymoon, 
the honeymoon stage. You ain't trying to hear that. And somebody telling you about whatever, you gonna be like, but yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying y'all? to hear nothing. Man, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. I'm yeah. in love with this with this person. Yeah. That coochie got a grip on me. That's a fact. Literally that a co- figurative. Yo. <sighs> Ugh. Crazy, crazy. Man. I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. I'm going to drive all the way to motherfucking Baltimore. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, it's definitely, um, it'll it'll definitely have a grip on you. That's a fact. So, I think it depends on when, when they're telling you it. Yeah. But ultimately, what, once you start to see the signs, then you be like, damn, such and such was right. Yeah. And that shit don't never feel good. That shit feel nutty. When somebody else is actually correct. Yeah, when they was it. right, when they was right about the person, you kind of feel like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, I guess I ain't really need to do all of that. Whoop-dee-whoop. Well, like I said though, when you in that phase, it's like you can, nobody can tell you nothing about anything. You already like no. figured that part out. It's like no. you know, like it just it depends. I got some it shit does. to get off on Patreon too. Hold on, let me write this. shit Yeah, down. get your shit off, gang. I got some shit to get off on Patreon. What's the Patreon? Uh, nigga, tell him the Patreon. Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Oh, <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Learn Lionel. Learn Lionel, yeah. Um, Make sure you subscribe. But if you know that I don't like you, don't subscribe because I'm going to talk about you. That's a fact. Um, oh, somebody brought this topic up. Actually, Shalom brought this up. I, I said her whole name. Shay? Shay? Okay. She brought this up. She's like, uh, was it Shay? Or was it Sierra? Shabbat Shalom? It's Shalom. Shalom. Oh, okay. Lawn. Something like that. Oh, all right. Nice. If you uh, are dating somebody... Uh, and they don't watch And they watch porn That doesn't relate to you Are you offended Now I told her No Cause I don't When my woman is watching porn Or you know I don't really get into Their porn journey with them I don't really I, I don't really ask them What they watch I don't really care that much Yeah But she was saying like If they watching porn It has nothing to do with With your body type And nothing like that Like I think it's a kind of a I don't I don't look into that What do you think about it Oh Okay so like If you watch uh, porn And, and she watching like- white porn Oh, and you like nigga? I'm not even. White. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Because my porn damn, don't gotta relate like, to you, it right? Would have, it would have to happen in real life. Like if you, if I call my shorty watching a nigga and he like got a six pack and he all chiseled up and shit, right? And she just watching this nigga uh, be his meat or some shit. I'm gonna be like, I don't look like that. What the fuck? But then yeah. I'm gonna be like. You know, this is your time. You were supposed to be watching porn, so you know. That's her fantasy. You know, this is you watching porn and and being alone, and this is your intimate time, so I guess I really can't be mad at you. Right. So whenever Shorty see the, 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 you mean that you going to town with, like, you know, if you, like, got a a preference of Shorty. Sometimes I watch BBW, and I'm not dating a BBW at the time. Yeah. It's just like, I just want to see a, a fat woman. Cause I like mm-hmm. fat women and I also mm-hmm. like you too. I wanted you know? to see this. Yeah, I got like you can have multiple likes. Yeah, I, I, I disagree with it. I do disagree with it, but I <coughs> I get it. Yeah, no. Nah. But I, but the reason why I brought I that up because I I didn't. But it's certain things in relationships that people talk about that I never think about because I don't get into my women's porn categories. Like when they yeah, watch porn, I, we don't cross paths. Do you, do you ask about it? Yeah, like 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 it's a regular conversation though. Yeah, like what do you usually watch? And then they say yeah. it, and then you like, oh, yeah, okay. It's like cool. Okay. What is she like? I watch gay porn. She watch gay porn. She's got to be like, okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's her that's bad. Whole thing. Whatever gets you going, it gets you going. Now, does that mean that she's thinking about two guys? She might her? be though. But that that doesn't ultimately mean that you're going to bring another guy into the bedroom, right? Nah, I mean it depends on my scenario. Like I don't, I wouldn't want to do that to my woman that I'm dating, right? But I'm. Okay. It's like if she watching. Uh, gang bangs or two niggas fucking a chick, that might just really get her off. Yeah, that don't mean she want me to break what she might, but that don't mean like she about to be like, he bring a nigga in here is like, nah, not for my woman. Yeah, because I, you know, I can't, I don't think that I would go on too much along with you if I watch another nigga fuck. But you know, that's that's how women think. Though. Yeah. Women think that if, uh, well, not all of them, but I'm gonna say, you know, nice little percentage of them think that. Whatever you you see is what you want. Yeah. So they think that oh oh just because such and such you 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 are beating off to uh let's off say like a light school. a light skin John with a fat ass and in you know brown little skin. titties and then she's like well I got big titties and no ass why are you beating off to that that's what you really want huh like da 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 and you like 
But how would you? No, even, that's not what I want. Shit, you feel me? Huh? Like how would she even see that? Cause you told her. Oh, all right. Y'all, if y'all have a conversation and you say like this is this is what I you know I I fuck with this. Yeah. And you explaining this pinky. My my she porn like, I don't range even look like pinky. My porn range so wide though. From we've we've been watching porn since young boys. Since we was young. So I switched. Yeah. Like I used to watch a lot of like pinky shit. Yeah. Now I'm just like all homemade. Yeah. So it's yeah, like yeah, I, it's, yeah. it's, it's you know. Pinky used to have his one farting joint. I always talk about it. A fart. She used to walk around crazy. and fart, bro. That's crazy. Insane. And she used to lay on the bed and fart. Bro. She used to have the craziest tan on her uh, bikini tan. She did used to have the like, craziest tan. Yeah. She did used to have the craziest tan. People see her now and was like, she getting fat. I'm like, I would still fuck Pinky. Like I would. And they would too. That's, they that's would a too. bucket list body. That's a that's definitely a BLB. That's a B. That's a bucket list body. That's a bucket list body for sure. Her in the joint that shit was shy. Too shy to come on the podcast. <laughs> Uh, who is that? Maserati Triple yes, X. Yes. Shout out yeah. to Maserati. She's a good person. If she listen she to this, is. you are a fantasy of a lot of young men. You're but always welcome we're professional now, so you can always come, come on the couch. And you know. Uh well, I had you know I got in trouble for that. That mm-hmm. when we was talking about um beating off to your to your ex or whatever. Remember when we was talking about that on Day Pot? Oh, I was in the doghouse dog dog for that. What the fuck is going on, man? Brother, I'm I just been oh. Yeah, been dogging it. I mean, you be, you was being honest though. I was. I, lie. I was being honest, and I was like, "Yeah, that happened." And she was like, "Well, you didn't say it." Did it, you say it, it happened in the past? Yeah, I said it in the clip. Oh. I even said it in the episode, but apparently, I didn't say that it happened in the past. You and okay? She was with like, that, man? You good? She was like, "But it's happening, huh?" And I'm like, "Nah." I mean, in the past, yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I'm not like looking for that video of my ex. I, I guess it would I be mean, weird because it's the ex that's. Oh yeah, for sure. So like now it'd be super weird, and I told her that I'm like she's not. Yeah, but like I, I here. feel like, you know, I definitely, but I understand like, I wouldn't want to hear that from my from my girlfriend. Yeah, but I would still beat my dick to my ex's videos. Like I like I, but I, I but you know I what? I wouldn't want to hear it. I wouldn't want to hear that either. She, I had I was like, ask your friends. Go ahead, ask your friends, and don't da da da. She asked her friends, and her friends was like, yeah, no, that's weird. I was like, she was like, I'm telling you, it's a guy thing. They think that okay. it's a guy thing, and I'm like, because I think that they say that men only men look at sex differently than women, yeah, and I do. believe that. Well, I agree. I believe that men, we just look at it as just sex. But women, y'all are like, this is art. Got some this lovers, is, some weirdo, some like, weirdo y'all lovers. Are really like in tune with sex. So for y'all to look at some old sex videos, y'all look at that as like a real life thing. Like that's a whole, that's a whole like experience for y'all. But like, no, we don't want to do anything with that. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, um. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, I used to, yo, I used to pluck off so many roaches, bro. But, like, now look at me, like, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. We can get to rapping soon. We got to get into our Patreon. Wrap this up. Um, real quick, go listen to our, and watch our episode with, uh, I put a lot of work into the Spiller episode. Oh, did you? I learned a new way to edit multiple angles. Uh, that Shout to Stunt. Um, he told me there's a way. Um, where you watch it and you like put this out. I, I watched the YouTube video on it. and angle by angle as people talking on the keyboard. Like I had to oh, watch you the episode. Just press a button to like if you watch it. Like I got all three angles in the jaw, and every time like you would talk, I would boom. I'll go to the main angle, then I'll go to the one Samaj got. So it made it like I didn't have to go manually cut. Oh I just had yeah, to, that, the, yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, so uh, go watch the episode with Spill it. It was a really good time. Um, but yeah, go over to our. We're going to head into Patreon now. If you're not subscribed to our Patreon, it's patreon.com forward slash learn Lionel. Uh, we got anything else to say? Seven gym of the week? I got I got nothing else to say to these motherfuckers. I got a honey bunny and honey chips. Nigga, yeah, I'm, I'm from, from New York. York. Hey, my gym of the week is <sighs> keep it rocking, keep it rolling. Don't stop and keep it blowing. Okay, cool. My gym of the week is <laughs> <laughs> my gym. Oh. My gym of the week is uh if you are in a doghouse, don't just apologize. Eat some pussy. You need action. Yeah. Need action. Whether, whether through mouth whether you're or. Doing, you mean you just got to do it through action. You got to You got to make it up through action. Hey, look, man. It's motherfucking late night with Lur and Lionel. We out. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah.